guys, it's coffee time. I have a splitting headache, which kind of sucks. I think it's because I've been working out every morning. I've been trying to take advantage of the jet lag, right? So the very first day after we got back, we woke up at like five in the morning. And then the second day yesterday, we woke up at like 5.30. And this morning I woke up at six. And so I've been trying to make it so that since I'm waking up early anyway, I go to the gym and I work out and do whatever, watch some animus while I'm on the elliptical. It works out quite nicely. But the problem is I'm not drinking more water to supplement the water that I'm losing through sweat. <laughs> so I think that might be one of the reasons why I've got a headache. Cause I was like, is there anything that I've done differently today that would give me a headache? Really can't think of one. So I've also got a cup of water here. I'm gonna try to try to get all that that water, that good water coming back into my body. But I am also drinking coffee at the same time. I've been sipping on this coffee like all day because I'm gross. Because I'm supremely disgusting. So today we had our second craft live stream that went really well. I love the shirt from this second live stream. I was like, man, we did pretty well. Good job, everybody. So I'm excited about that. And I think it could turn out in the end to be a very cool shirt because I made little gaps right here. I made little triangle gaps and I want to put lace there and maybe dye the lace like pink or purple because the shirt is purple. And then it's got, um, it's got the is it symbol from Magic the Gathering on it and then some like kind of spackles. Oh, it looks so sick. I'm a huge fan, huge fan. Oh man, that was kind of disappointing. I was feeling like I really needed to burp, but now it's just, you know, dead forever. Hey! Remember earlier when you just would not leave me alone because you really wanted to eat my salad? Weirdest cat in the world. I told the marzipan story today on the Co-Optional Podcast. Also, we had the Co-Optional Podcast today. Woo! It went pretty well. It went well. There was no guest. There hasn't been a guest, like five times out of 10. So 50% of the time, sirs and madams is how that equals out. Um, but it was nice to just come back and have all three of us there to talk about whatever. It wound up mostly being about Gamescom. Jesse played so many games at Gamescom. I was like, how did you even manage that? I don't understand. But again, I mean, for a decent amount of the day, I was either with the Dawngate guys or working at the Dawngate booth. So, you know, it, it cut into my time a little bit, but even then, it's like, man, you got a lot done. I feel like in the future, what I need to do, because I had never done this before until uh, we went to Evolve. We went to a capture session with Evolve, and I was like, man, that is real handy. Like, even being able to see a game behind closed doors or in like a media session or a press session makes a huge difference to having to stand in line in order to do it. So I'm wondering whether or not in the future I can contact some game companies and be like, hey, is there any way I can make an appointment with you to like do a thing maybe? That would be cool. Because <laughs> apparently a lot of YouTubers do that and I never do. And that would help so much if I didn't have to stand in two hour lines. Woohoo! But yeah, Sam is on the way home, I think, because I have my headache. I was like, do you need a ride? And he was like, I mean, I would like a ride, but I don't need a ride. And I was like, okay, because I have a splitting headache. So if you don't need a ride, <laughs> I'm going to ask you to find somebody else. And he was like, all right, no problem. So I think he's on his way home now. Also, our AC was fixed. Oh, I forgot to tell you. I'm so happy. We felt like we were going crazy that every time we would change the dial on the AC, it would just continue to say 80 degrees. That messes with your head, man. When you just, you go over there, you're like, man, it's so hot and turn the dial and you're like, wait, it's been set to like 69 degrees this whole time. What's going on with that? So the guy came in, the guy came in during the podcast. 
guy came in and was like, yo, I'm gonna just look at your junk, and I was like, alright, cool. And he looked at the junk and then was like, alright, I'm gonna go outside and look at the junk outside that connects to your junk. And I was like, alright, cool. And he was like, alright, cool. And then suddenly, I felt it. I felt the cool air. And it was such an elated feeling inside my heart. I didn't even bother telling them about the fridge, because I was like, I just, if you could just fix the AC, I won't even bug you about the fridge for like at least a day. Because goodness me, the AC feels so nice. We've been leaving, like, we've got a pretty decent breeze. We've been leaving the windows open every now and then. But, I mean, even with windows open, you're just getting warm air inside, you know? So, in the morning it's been fine, but... What you doing, Sherlock? We still haven't attached these bookshelves to the wall, so I still can't put the books on the bookshelves. Lazy. We lazy up in here. I need to go to like, and I'll, uh, I was gonna say Office Depot, but that's not what I need to do. I need to go to like a Home Depot, something like that, so that we can get the brackets that we need in order to do that. Because I would love to not have those millions of boxes in the living room anymore. That would be just mwah, A plus, best ever. I really don't want to wind up being that person who has boxes that have not been emptied for like months after I've moved in. <laughs> because I've been that person before where I've been like, ah, this box has stuff I don't really need right now. I'm just going to put it in this closet. And then it never really gets unpacked. You know, I don't want to do that. I don't want to do that. I want everything unpacked. I want everything to have a place. But right now, that just isn't happening. <laughs> so, huh. Yeah, you agree. Yeah, you get it. You get it. Huh, you get it. Oh, 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 Yeah. <laughs> um, I'm trying to think if there's anything else, really. I'm super sore, which is nice because that means that the exercises that I'm doing are, you know, doing something, so that's good. I've been basically just going to the gym, right? I go into the gym, and then I either go on the treadmill or the elliptical. The elliptical is busted right now, which, tears. But I go on the elliptical or the treadmill, and I'm on there for 30 to 40 minutes, depending. If I'm on the treadmill, it's 30 minutes. If it's the elliptical, it's 40 minutes. And then I get off and I do a bunch of ab stuff because Tina was always like, do abs every day. So I'm like, okay, I'll do abs every day. So I do my abs and then I do just like one or two super random arm things with weights. And that's been, that's my workout regimen right now. <laughs> but it's been every day. So I feel like it's all right. I feel, I feel good about it. And then I eat a huge breakfast. Because the breakfast that we got in Germany, like, look, one of the big perks about being there with a company that is owned by EA is that we were in the Marriott, and the Marriott has a great breakfast plan. So they made it so that everybody who was there with EA had free breakfast every morning. Like, our breakfasts were just paid for for every day that we were there which was incredible. So every single morning I was like, Sam, are you ready? You wanna cook your breakfast? <laughs> he was like, okay. So we had this huge, amazing buffet breakfast every single morning. It was like, mwah, so good. And so when we got back, after you've had breakfast a few days in a row, you start to be really hungry when you get up. <sighs> so I've been making a huge breakfast. This morning I only made a huge breakfast for me because Sam's been sick. So I was like, well, I'm not going to wake him up and ask him if he wants breakfast. I'm just going to make breakfast for myself. And so when I was like about to eat the last bite of my breakfast, Sam came downstairs and was like, oh, oh, <laughs> I was like, oh no. He was like, I heard you cooking. I thought maybe, I thought maybe you were making breakfast for both of us. <laughs> I was like, oh, come on. I was trying to be considerate. I was trying to be like, yo, dude. You go ahead and sleep. I know you're sick. I don't know if you're going to work. Why wake you up right now? I don't know if you've even been sleeping all that long because I always fall asleep before you. I don't know what's going on with you. I just wanted to make sure I ate a thing, you know? 
messed up. <laughs> I didn't mess up. We just cross wires. Cross wires, like usual. But anywho, I am going to go finish this episode of Orange is the New Black because I'm real excited about it. And I hope you guys have an amazing day, and I'll talk to you again tomorrow. Bye-bye. Okay.